friends. What is up? It's Melanie. You're probably confused. I am in my little crafting area because today's video we will be doing 10 crafts in under 10 minutes. Yes, that's right. All of these crafts can be done in under or okay like about 10 minutes um depending on how much you know like effort you put in or like how quick you are with it but i found a lot of really quick easy crafts that i think would be perfect for you know like if you just want to squeeze one in there also these would be great for christmas ideas like gift ideas you know if you forgot about a certain someone you need to give them something really quick and heartfelt and affordable so other than that let's get into this video thank you guys so much for coming along and make sure to follow me on the other social let's get started okay friends we're ignore my dog he's having a moment. It's next DIY. POV, you use a Yerba Mate or a LaCroix, but I'm at home. My family doesn't drink those, so I'm just gonna demonstrate with this signature seltzer. So first off, we got a shotgun then. Just kidding, I don't do that, okay? I actually couldn't do that if I tried. I can't even chug water. Basically, all we're gonna do is cut a little bit around here. Um. Once again, pretend this is a Yerba Mate. Pray for me. Hi. Oh my god. Be careful because this be sharp. It might be a good idea to like tape it down or file it. Two ideas with this. You can either hole punch it and add like wine so that you can make it a plant hanger or you could just put your plant in it and it can be a nice little plant thing. But I'm gonna make it a hanger because I think it'd be cute. So I'm gonna get my hole punch. And then sides of this thing. All right. Okay, I know it looks kind of dumb right now, but I'm gonna put a plant in this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when the uh, the look is complete or the aesthetic of it. Okay guys, so I unfortunately don't have succulents on hand at my house, but just to give you the concept that I was going with here, we have it hanging from this hook and I think it looks so cute double layered like look she recycles guys i just shoved a vine in here but you get what i'm saying also i actually am kind of in love with this especially if you're a drink fanatic like me you could literally use a coffee can a yerba i think i'm gonna do this with a poppy or um what's that other one i like uh, ollie pop and like the cans are so cute come on guys it's adorable Hey guys, for the second craft, uh, I guess I didn't really do any talking, in the beginning at least, but basically I'm following this video, of course I will link it below. <gasps> oh my gosh. For some reason I always end up using Urban Outfitters tag to hold my like crocheting stuff. Okay guys, let's see what we're working with. I think that these little flowers are perfect for just like decoration. Of course you can attach them to like sweaters or something, but I decided to use mine as a coaster and it was pretty simple and self-explanatory to make as long as I followed the steps of the video. I also know and figured I'd be able to make this a lot quicker after I've made my first one and like memorized the steps, but the first time it was like a little over 10 minutes for me. I think the video was about 10 minutes. I'm so excited for this one. If you were anything like me back in the, I don't even know what period, 2010? I don't know. Basically, I had this phase where I was obsessed with doing my nails. Around that era when like crackle nail polish was popular, magnetic nail polish, there was a little, actually it wasn't little, it was a pretty big era, water marbling. I remember that and I miss it very much. So today, we're gonna water marble. I think you could literally do anything. Of course, you can do your nails, but unfortunately, my nails are done right now, but I like them a lot. But we're gonna water marble some hair clips. So I have these little clear ones that I thought would look kind of cute and like a translucent kind of. And then I have my nail polish. I chose three colors. So I have dark green, light green, and white. I'm going through a green phase. I think we all are. And then I have a little cup of water. It's better if the like rim is a rim, diameter, surface area, whatever, is a little bit bigger. Or it doesn't even have to be bigger. It just has to fit your whatever your water marbling. So let's see how this goes. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm now realizing this oh my gosh. is not the best angle for you to see this. Oh, also did I say we need a little toothpick for design. We're gonna YOLO this. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. And then we're gonna dip and then use the Q-tip to clean up. It helps to blow on it to dry it up so that you can clean it up before you lift it out. Okay, guys. Wait a second. I think I'm on to something. I should have, however, thought of bringing a napkin here because chaos. Guys, frick. 
prick. We have a problem here. It's better come off. It should because it's gel, but if it doesn't, I might cry a little bit. Ooh, she is looking cute. Okay, so if you weren't a pro water marbler, water nail marbler like me back in the day, um, this is also pretty self-explanatory. You just put some drops of nail polish and then make a design with a toothpick, and it's pretty awesome. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what happened with this one. Okay, so now let's see if this will But at least it's pretty self-explanatory. No. Okay. We're just gonna tie this to finish it off. And we're gonna like triple knot the crap out of this so that it doesn't like break off. Because trust me, that's like actually the worst thing ever. I just put some cute beads. It's so cute. Try on. Love it. So easy. Here, are we gonna go make more of these now? Do you ever need lip balm with you, but you don't have it because you have to put it in pocket and girls just never have pockets? Well, I have a hack for you. Also, guys, I'm going to attach all these tutorials because they teach way better than I ever could. Melanie approved. So, for this one, really simple. You just need some yarn, of course. Oh my gosh. Girl, she's going too quick. But basically, you just need yarn. And like this video is only five minutes, so that means this is, you know, half the time. Part of it. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so cute. Okay, let's test it out. Well, get in here. I think it's because I have a weird shaped lip balm at the moment. I need Trotina. Please fit. I did not just waste 10 minutes on that. <laughs> it's so cute. And then I just have this little thing. So I'm gonna like throw it in there like that. It's gonna be on a little hanger. I keep losing stuff. They're in my little Urban Outfitters bag, of course. Okay, wait a second, guys. I actually love this. This is so practical. It's so cute. I love it. We are doing a lot of crafts in the kitchen this time, but little story behind this one, okay? So I am a yogurt fanatic, per se. I love going to the grocery store, staring at all of the varieties of yogurt. I test them out, but I see this one all the time. It looks freaking adorable. I had an idea. I never usually buy it, though, because it's kind of expensive, which makes sense, because the packaging is so darn cute. Doesn't this just look like you should be eating it in like France or something? But of course, we gotta eat this first. I am gonna find a way to reuse this packaging because it's so cute. And this one is special because it has like a design on it. I think I'm gonna try to scrub the label off as well so that I can use it, like actually use it. It's test time. It doesn't even look like yogurt, guys. It looks like creme frickin' brulee. Wait, look at the scoop. Can you see that? It's interesting. Mmm, tea is delicious. Okay, we downed this baddie, but now we gotta wash. Okay, now I'm just like running really hot water on it. I'm gonna try to get this sticker off. I think we can do it. Why is this yogurt jar literally like artwork? Wait a second. That was clean. This is like, instead of buying mason jars, you get yogurt. Like free yogurt with your cute jar. We're gonna wash this down again. Look. Oh my gosh, I love it. Genius mode. After much deliberation, I have a bunch of tiny perfume samples that I thought fit perfectly in here. But wait, there's more. Adorable. Okay, this next one, I'm gonna start off with some string. Basically, I'm just making a little necklace for my car because we love to personalize her. So this is obviously all very customizable. I just know I want some of these mushroom beads on there because I think they're cute. I'm gonna put a butterfly on there probably and then I'm gonna write something with some like little cube letters. So I actually had a lot of fun making this one. I feel like it gives you a lot of creative freedom with it. But I also thought this would be so fun to give your girlfriends and give them little customized ones to match their personalities. And then you guys would be like semi-matching in your cars. Like is that not the cutest Christmas idea ever? Okay, like, would this not be an adorable necklace also? I could be twinning with my car. There's a lot of excess string, which is perfect, because then I'll just tie it around my mirror. But I'm just going to tie some, like, knots on the end so that the beads don't fall off. That would be tragic and would probably lead to me getting in a car accident. So now it won't budge. Easy peasy. And that's it for this craft. 
next two like DIYs are more of fashion hacks, but they're super quick and easy. I saw them both on TikTok, so of course I'll have the video linked below, but I've been dying to try them out. And now that I'm home with full access to my old closet, they're gonna be testing them out. This first one is basically like a little hack to have a backless tank top. All you need is a tank top and a shoelace. So let's try it out. First off, we gotta find something in the old closet. Actually, that's just not, I like forgot where everything is. Yeah, tank tops in a bin. Basically, you're gonna want one of those like, I don't know how to describe it. Let me find one first. Okay, something sort of like this, I believe, will work best. And then you're gonna need a shoelace. I suppose you could use like a ribbon or something also, but I have a lot of shoelace belts. So obviously I wouldn't wear it on top of a sweater like this, but that's what we're working with right now. So I believe you thread it through the top like this, right? And that's what goes over your head. And then you put it just like the front of it. You thread it through the sides like so. I'm kind of concerned that this is not gonna be long enough shoelace. And then you thread it through the other side like so. Maybe you're supposed to put your arms through. Let me find this video again. Oh, she did a little wrap action. From here, just the top part, she crossed them in the back, getting a little fancy. I think I need a longer shoelace belt. I'm gonna tie these two shoelace belts together for practice. You'd actually need like a sh longer ribbon probably, which I just don't have. Oh my gosh. We're on a bit of a time crunch. Why am I like, this feels like the, t uh, the 10 minute makeup challenge right now. Okay, last times again. Oh my gosh, guys. I just tied a shoelace into a circle because I was not paying attention. Urgh. Tying my shoelaces together. Put this through the top. Cross them in the back. Both through the side. Okay. Essentially. Can you see what's happening back here? You're gonna tighten this and then you have a little back action over here okay hold up right now i look a little stupid because it's over this sweater but we love being crafty here pretty innovative when i saw this i was kind of like uh hold up you're on to something so i would definitely wear this out i think it's so smart i don't know it's kind of like a bandana top very cute melanie approved all right this next one i love this girl's fashion and like thrifting and she posted this little hack on how to use a button up and basically tie it differently wait wait you'll wait for it it'll look like that so we're gonna test this out once again heading over to the magic closet i think i'm gonna go with this i think this would look adorable as like a little halter and i don't wear it nearly enough so i believe what you do is you start off by buttoning like a random set of buttons kind of in the middle okay and then you put this thing on upside down you heard me correct upside down uh because you guys are like my mirror am i confused i think i'm confused use these little ends here to pull back and tie it around your neck hello top don't pull down and then you're just gonna do a little tucking action back here i'm doing this with like a long sleeve button up which actually makes things a lot easier because you could just use the sleeve to tie in the back all right so this one's kind of a little bit more like a bra top but i think this is a fun way to you know reuse some of your clothes if you want specific prints obviously it's not like an actual top so it's not gonna be the most comfortable or like perfect fitting but i think if you find top that's oversized enough and you learn how to like tie it correctly i would definitely wear this out as like a little bralette or something this really simple like threaded necklace so i just have thick embroidery thread i'm using black you can use any color basically and then i'm going to first attach some of these little like end thingies hello that i can like you know put my necklace on properly so this is super easy peasy i'm just gonna like tie it on to only one side for now that's important don't do both sides you'll be screwed over then you're just gonna want to choose some beads whatever color you desire today this is a difficult choice for me but i think i'm gonna go with these two beads I'm gonna take out a couple of each oh my gosh oh my gosh i poured out way too many you know what you can stay down there i'll keep showing you what i'm up to then i'm just gonna bead them on very simple watch like so oh my gosh it's so hard to do when you have nails but ah. frick okay gold bead first oh yeah nice sea foam bead okay we're killing it then another gold one. Oh my gosh we got this down then another sea foam one obviously you can do whatever pattern your heart desires i'm just like a simple gal 
now that I have my little bead sequence, I'm just going to measure this. You could measure this a lot better, but I, we all know that's not my thing. We're going to measure this how long we want it as a necklace. You want it a little more chokery. Mmm, yes. And then I'm going to tie it at that length. And then snip it. And then a little extra thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a knot on each side so that they like stay there. I thought it'd be fun to make a little crochet bookmark. You know, it's a small thing, so we can definitely do this one in under 10 minutes. I'm gonna link the video that I'm using down below. When you look this up on YouTube, there are so many different designs. I personally just think that this little flower one is so cute. Guys, I am home for Thanksgiving, hence being in my old room. One of the things I wanted to do was to come home and literally just read and do nothing in the comfort of my bed like I used to do for like two hours every single night when I lived here, which was so nice. So obviously, you know, to read instead of just like praying that I remember where I was. I thought of making myself a cute little bookmark. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna be using like friendship bracelet. Oh my gosh, this is a makeup brush. I'm gonna be using friendship bracelet red to make it like a little thinner and more dainty. Hopefully it looks good. This update, it does not work very well. Okay, so I just finished making the little, it's kind of like a snowflake because it's white, but it's like the little top flower part. And now I'm just going to make a really long chain that's going to be the actual bookmark. Okay, guys, I finished it. Looks a little silly, but let's test this thing out. The book I haven't finished, just been sitting here for the entire semester. What I was using as my bookmark before. Okay, so cute. Anyways, guys, those were all of my super quick, easy, and fun little DIYs that you can do in under 10 minutes. Perfect for Christmas gift ideas if you want to add a little, you know, personal touch to it. Or if you just want to get craftsy real quick. Other than that, make sure to tap the subscribe button and follow me on my other socials if you want to see other craftsy ideas like this. And if you want more similar videos, make sure to let me know down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. I know you want to leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily. Russell, say hi. Oh, hi. Oh, my golly. <laughs> this. Hi. Oh, my gosh. My lens is broken. When you get tired of me.